What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Inside the Pit. I'm your host Josh Berg and we are back with another reaction video and today it's a very special one. It is my favorite band, Currents. They dropped a brand new single, Remember Me, coming with an album announcement. May 5th, The Death We Seek will be dropping Currents. I said I mentioned my favorite band. They'll have a new album coming out. We're definitely going to be checking that out. These guys are phenomenal. Uh, saw them live four different times last year. Seeing them again next week here in St. Louis with Memphis Mayfire and Parkway Drive on the Darker Still Tour. I'm hoping we get some more stuff uh, from Currents touring-wise here in the U.S. I've loved seeing them the last several years that I've saw them. These guys are great. Got to meet Brian and Chris. Uh, and Ryan, um, when I saw them, uh, last time I saw them, when they were on the uh, Curse of Existence tour with Memphis Mayfire, uh, they were the the co-headliner with Memphis, uh, or not with, with uh, Miss May I, excuse me, with Miss May I and uh, Landmarks and Kingdom of Giants. Awesome tour. Um, and like I said, I got to meet Brian and, and Ryan and, and Chris and uh, a lot of members of the band, they're all, they're all fantastic people. Um, I do want to take this time to, uh, promote their GoFundMe links for Ryan, uh, their guitarist who was diagnosed with cancer. Um, they have started out, they've started a GoFundMe page, um, to help him with his treatment. And I want to do anything that I can to help support, uh, the band and help them out, um, so if you guys are able to, uh, make sure you guys go ahead and um, uh, donate or at the very least promote um, promote that GoFundMe for Ryan um, and, and, and the guys in Currents. Um, like I said, they're truly amazing people and, and uh, you know, I wish, wish Ryan the best in his recovery. Um, it's it's uh, been a rough couple weeks here in the, in the music scene. With band departures and illnesses and touring having to be canceled and all this different stuff, but we as a community we stand together strong and united. Um, and we always have each other's backs and our families. So um, make sure you guys go ahead and show us current some love. I'm gonna leave all of their link tree, GoFundMe, their merch stuff, whatever uh, stuff is linked uh, for them. I'll leave that in the description down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you liked it even more than that, go ahead subscribe and hit that bell. So you guys are notified anytime that I drop new music reactions and reviews. I do albums and, and uh, singles. January was a slow month, but we're now in February. And things are going to start getting rolling pretty quickly here with new music and tours. It's going to be a lot of fun. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram at joshberg 611 And that's all I got for an intro. This is Currents Remember Me. I am so excited. Let's get into it. Death We Seek and Vengeance were both bangers. I'm curious to see which side of the spectrum of currents that this song falls under. Got the, it's it's got that current signature guitar sound. It's a little bit more open, slower. Did not expect that. That's Chevy. Chevy. There's definitely that signature Cohen's guitar tone. Hell yeah, Brian. Mm. 
lyrically, these guys are phenomenal. The way that it's a tough message and relates to a lot of people. I'm wondering who I fell in love with these guys, guys in this band. They just killed Chevy! Killing it, Brian. Different chorus style for them. Very, very interesting vocal delivery from, uh, from Brian here in this track. That was Remember Me by Currents coming off their album, The Death We Seek. That will be dropping on May 5th this year. I've got a lot to say about this track. It's definitely an interesting one, and I do want to talk about it. Um, first off, I want to get this out front that I will always look at things objectively from a music perspective, regardless if they're my favorite bands or not, whatever. I always look at things from an objective perspective, um, and that includes Currents. With that being said, I really enjoyed this track. What, I th what I've liked about Currents with their last three singles, The Death We Seek, Vengeance, and now Remember Me, they're expanding their sound into a lot of different areas that we haven't seen before. It's like The Death We Seek, the production, um, me and a couple of, uh, buddies were talking about it. It's very different, the production side of things, than their past couple records and their past uh, few uh, albums before then. But it still had the current guitar work. Brian sounded just like he he normally does um, with his with his tone and delivery. Um, sounded great as always. And then Vengeance was kind of almost more deathcorey. You know what I mean? Like it was a lot more heavy. Had some hardcore influences. Um, and this song, it's very interesting because it's it's kind of I don't want to call it a ballad because it's not a ballad, but it's slowed down. The delivery with Brian's not as big and as epic, um, especially in the choruses. His delivery and tone definitely changed from those first two tracks and then the clean chorus and the death we seek to the clean chorus and remember me. It's very, very different. But at the same time, I don't look at this track and not recognize the band, if that makes sense. I did a really crappy job of explaining that. But like the guitar tone... And leads were still current. The song structure was very different than what we're used to seeing with these guys. Um, and then the chorus delivery was also very interesting. Um, it wasn't this big, ambient, open, heavy-hitting chorus. Brian's delivery stayed, you know, relatively the same throughout the, the majority of the chorus. But it still hits you different. And like I mentioned during the reaction, one of the reasons why I fell in love with these ba this band when I first found them, I found them when The Way It Ends dropped. Um, and I was going through a, through a tough time. The lyrics for these guys really, really relate with you. And then after I listened to The Way It Ends and it ended up being you know, top three, five album of the year for me, then I went back and listened to a lot of their older stuff. Um, 
and and then their older stuff is fantastic. Um, and and this track is another example of those lyrics really really having an impact and hitting home. These guys know how to write music that connects with people, um, which is one of the things I love about them. Um, really cool to see Chevy in the music video. I got to uh, gotten to meet her a couple times actually. Um, when I saw when I saw Ink back with Currents actually back in twenty uh twenty twenty one twenty twenty one um with Bad Omens and Fame of Fire I got to I got to meet Chevy and then I actually got to uh, I ran into her again when I saw the Trinity of Terror tour um so uh super cool that she was in this video with Currents um really 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 unique uh. For, for me to see her in the in the video I haven't seen her in in current stuff so that's pretty cool I also haven't paid much attention to current music videos um, in the past but overall really like this track it's probably my second favorite single I think I still like the death we seek more um, but this track hits you emotionally it's different it's not gonna be your heavy banger it's not gonna have this big you know epic breakdown or the big epic chorus but the delivery the guitar work still on point with currents. It, it doesn't need to be said. I, this is going to be one of my favorite records of the year. Um, I'm my most anticipated record of the year. I'm super excited for it. Um, that being said, we got a lot of music that's going to be coming out here in uh, in the next several days. I got a, got a full list of songs that are going to be dropping over the next couple days and weeks. And we got some albums that we're finally going to start rolling into in February that I am going to be incredibly, incredibly excited about. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you are brand new. Uh, leave a uh, comment down below. What you guys think about the, uh, the new Currents track, or if there's other tracks that you guys want me to react to, make sure you guys go ahead and leave it in the comments down below as well. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on all those socials, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at joshbrick 611 And please, guys, I cannot thank this, uh, say this enough. If there's one thing you do for me with this video, is please to go visit that GoFundMe for Currents uh, to support Ryan and his and his treatment. Um, as well as go buy some of their merch because all that's going towards uh, towards a good cause there. Um, support these guys. Um, that's that's if that's the one thing you guys take away from this video is to go over to that link and share it or donate or whatever you guys can do to to, to help that out. Uh, we would you know I I know I would really appreciate it. I know currents it would mean the world to them as well. So that's gonna do it for this video. And until next time, I am Josh Berg, and this is Inside the Pit. <laughs>